So here we're going to take a look at the benchmark performance of the Zolo Play. Now in Quadrant, it scored an average of 3,941, which is at par with other MediaTek-powered smartphones in the same price range. We did face a bit of a problem with the older unit that we had on the Antutu score, but averaging it out, it came to about 12,500, which is at par with what the MediaTek smartphones are offering. Now, where the Zolo Play has performed quite well is in the 3D Mark iStorm and the 3D Mark iStorm Extreme, where its scores are slightly higher than the competition. Since this is a gaming phone, it is expected that it should perform really, really well out here. The Smartbench productivity and the Smartbench gaming score as well of the Zolo Play T1000 is at the top when compared to the competition. The Smartbench gaming score isn't as high when compared to the productivity score looking at the competition. So the overall benchmark performance of this Zolo Play unit that we received is really really good compared to the previous unit that we received where the scores really fluctuated quite a bit. In its benchmark performance, it is really good when compared to the other competing smartphones in the same price range.